Good morning everybody, it's 2019 and uh, I hope you haven't got sore heads this morning. I hope you've woke up feeling nice and chipper. Now this morning I'm doing a video all about minimalism and negative space. Now these things are very closely connected let's say. And you know in everyday life everything seems to be moving along at like a thousand miles an hour. You know we seem to have so much stuff to deal with, so many distractions with work and everything else that's going on that sometimes it's difficult just to kind of relax. For me, landscape photography does that. It's that nice relaxing time which I can just go out and have a bit of solace and just enjoy myself and feel at ease. So if you've watched my video all about the highlights of 2018, you'll know that one of my things I wanted to do in 2019, which we're in now, is to do more collaborations. And today is a collaboration. There's two people which I view as great photographers and also up and coming YouTubers. And these people are Tom and Nick. So I sent them across this video and asked them if they'd be interested in today's challenge. So check this out. Hi Tom, hi Nick, it's Ben Taylor here. And today I'd like to extend to you a photography challenge. Now usually as photographers, we explore something called positive space. And this is the subject in the frame. But I thought mixing it up a little bit and trying something different might be a good idea. In particular, in this challenge, it'd be good if we could explore negative space. So this challenge would need to be minimal photos with a single subject or a double subject, let's say, and then the rest of the frame would need to be filled up with negative space. It still opens up a world of possibilities because you can use any subjects you like. You can use close-up photography, far away, the subjects could be people, they could be buildings, nature, whatever you like, just as long as it's focused on the negative space in the frame. I hope you guys are as excited about this challenge as I am and come back to me and let me know what you think. Hi Ben, um, negative space, minimalism, that's right up my street. Um, yeah, great challenge and uh, one I will definitely accept. Uh, really looking forward to seeing what you can come up with on this one. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, yeah, good challenge, like it. Minimalist negative space, that's, uh, that's an interesting challenge. I accept your challenge, Ben. I'm looking forward to taking part in this. It uh, gives me something to think about. It's not something I've done much of, so uh, yeah. Looking forward to this one. More important, I'm looking forward to seeing what you and Nick come up with as well. See you soon. So with the challenge set today, I thought that on New Year's Day, everyone would be nursing a sore head and probably not really feeling like they want to get out of the house. But I was a little bit wrong. Check this out. This literally went on for about 20 minutes. <laughs> there was non-stop runners that just kept going and going and going and uh, yeah, it was crazy. Um, but now I have a little bit of quiet time. The joggers have jogged on. <laughs> um, and yeah, I mean, it's actually really nice to see people doing running on New Year's Day. Uh, and I'm sure it's actually probably for a charity. So yeah, it's all a good cause. So I shouldn't really moan, should I? But anyway, today's all about minimalism and I've come to a place very close to where I live. I was very tempted to go to some destinations which are further afield where I've saw photos captured before, um, very nice minimal photos with a good use of negative space. But I thought, probably not really gonna learn much from that. And one of the styles of photography which I think that I struggle with quite a bit is negative space and minimalism and it's probably because in my everyday life everything is kind of very fast and moving and sometimes I find I'm dragging that into my photography as well. So I've just landed here at Kingsbury Water Park. I'm gonna have a little walk around and see if I can find some interesting compositions.
walking by the side of the lane now for about five minutes and I've come across this unlikely composition. This bush has fallen in the water and the contrast of its dark extremities reaching out are balancing nicely against the reflection of the sky. So I've decided to set my camera up nice and close to this. I've got a 20 second exposure and I'm using a 10 stop ND filter. This is to blur the water out. I've also got F8 and I'm on ISO 100. Okay, so just after capturing that shot down there on the beautiful lake here, I've moved along through the woodland and I found this absolutely exquisite composition. Now, if I wasn't doing a video all about negative space, I'd be thinking about shooting this completely differently because it actually works a lot better with the foreground at the bottom here and then the background at the top. But because it's negative space, that would be cheating a little. So what I've decided to do is I've decided to use the top of the trees here um, and just the middle bit a little bit as a bottom. So it's almost as a base, almost like this grass coming up and then the sky is going to act as this beautiful negative space which fills out the whole frame. Okay, so let me see what I can do with the camera to get it set up. So it may actually not look like too much, this composition here, which I've just shown you on my live view. Um, but yeah, it will work, I'm sure of it. And it's because I'm gonna shoot it at three different exposures. And this is, of course, because I wanna capture the details and the highlights and the shadows. So this composition, actually, just as I'm speaking now, you probably see that my face has become completely overexposed. And that's because the sun has just come out, wow. It wasn't forecast to be sunny here today. Now, this might work in my favor. So as this is actually happening now, I'm gonna quickly take a shot and try and photograph the little trees here as they're little. Just bear with me. Okay, so I think I've just come across my third composition of the morning. This has been so productive. So this island I think is gonna work really well as a long exposure. I've put on the 10 stop ND filter and this is gonna smooth out the water just nicely for me. I'm gonna use this as a square crop I think and I'm gonna position the island in the bottom right hand side of the frame here, providing lots of minimalism and negative space around the outside of my frame. I might even shoot this as a black and white. Let's see how it turns out. What a thoroughly enjoyable day of photography. I wasn't expecting it to be this much fun, I've gotta be honest. And that was because I don't take minimal photos very often not very often at all. But I really enjoyed it today and it's actually been easier than I thought. I thought I'd start cluttering my frame like I do quite um, quite often when I take photos and then I usually try and take out a few elements because I'm trying to kind of, I don't know, overcook the composition let's say. But today, looking for that negative space, looking for their minimal photos, I've actually found it quite easy and it's been so much fun. So I'm really happy I've done this collaboration and challenge. And most of all, I'm happy that I've done it with Tom and Nick. Now, just before I end up going from this video, I want to encourage you to check out their videos because this is a three part collaboration. It involves me, Tom and Nick, and they've both made videos as well. 
So please check out their videos. They're both great photographers, people that I class as friends and also up and coming YouTubers. So guys, I wanna thank you for watching today's video. Really appreciate you taking the time out to check out this video. And whatever you do today, have a great day and I'll see you next time.